Imagine starting a freelancing or consulting business in just 30 minutes, powered by just one AI agent. Also, it can make money from week one. Actually, you don't need to imagine because it's possible because of the crazy agentic world we live in now. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I created a business idea using ChatGPT agent mode. And here is what we will cover. Introduction to the agent, how to configure an AI agent with a real working example, 22 ready to use AI agents setups you can turn into freelancing business the kind of outputs you can expect from these agents how to transform these outputs into sellable products and finally how to pitch these services to clients and win businesses let's first go through introduction to the agent i created for this video i'm going to show you one of the agents i created which is a cro expert cro is basically analyzing the drop off at different stages of customer journey and taking steps to improve it and increase the conversion rate so that you increase the revenue without any additional efforts now let me show you how i configured this ai agent to be a cro consultant so this is basically the prompt i gave i assigned a role you're a senior conversion rate optimization specialist with 10 years of experience uh, involving website performance user experience and conversion rates across industries you excel at data-driven analysis user behavior research and systematic testing to maximize website effectiveness now goal conduct a comprehensive conversion rate optimization analysis that identifies barriers to conversion prioritizes improvement opportunities and provides detailed testing frameworks to systematically improve website performance rules now rules are very important you must base recommendations on user behavior data and conversion analytics you must ask for specific website data conversion goals and current performance metrics statistical testing framework with sample size and significance requirement this is basically when you hire someone or you're training someone in the team to be a CRO specialist this is how you tell them okay you need to do your job like this this, this. but here just create your prompt once that's all then context needed uh this is website information i have to provide i said website url is this target audience is this primary conversion goal is this for whatever business you're doing it this information comes from that because you need to tell it what what's happening so this is the only input you give it like the information it needs cro analysis methodology first conversion funnel analysis then user experience and usability audit then you have to do technical performance assessment testing strategy development okay output format needs to be conversion Conversion optimization strategy overview, current conversion performance, primary optimization goals, estimation impact potential testing timeline, conversion funnel analysis, current performance funnel performance. Uh, this is how I want the data. Uh, critical drop off analysis. Basically, these are very important things when you do conversion rate optimization. And then begin by uh, asking me for the website information, current performance data, and business context. You need to conduct this comprehensive conversion rate optimization. I'll go here to chat GPT. I'll paste all of this. I'll go to add tools, agent mode. Ta and let's see if it asks any questions setting up my desktop and then it will just like w work like a human being the only difference is the person in the team we used to have he used to take two to three days to do this for a decent uh, client not too big not too small but chat gpt agent mode does it in few minutes let's say 15 to 20 minutes now let's talk about the 22 ready to use AI agent configurations. Now that you have seen one of the agentic configurations and you might have understood that how important the prompt or the configuration part is. So I'm going to share 22 more examples of agent configurations which you can deploy within five minutes. You can download it completely free from the link in the description below. And the prompt or agentic configuration for the CRO expert actually came from this sheet as well. These 22 plug and play chat GPT marketing agents handle everything from competitive analysis to customer feedback and ready to deploy in minutes. All you have to do is just copy paste, edit the client details and directly deploy any of these agents in chat GPT in less than it takes to schedule a meeting. Every prompt in this sheet transforms chat GPT into a specialized marketing professional with years of expertise built in the role, definition, methodology, and output format. My favorite part about this resource is that these agents conduct systematic analysis, provide strategic recommendations, and deliver professional quality results that would cost thousands from consultants, which I'm going to show you in the next parts of the video. And this resource is created by HubSpot Media, who is also sponsoring this video. Now let's quickly go through the output our AI agent created. Okay, so to start the comprehensive conversation analysis, could you please provide any additional details on the current performance metrics like bounce rate, whatever? I just went directly to uh, GA and added these screenshots like uh, from the 
customer journey and basically e-commerce setup attach ga screenshots for more context and it took four minutes and it came up with this and this is brilliant but i'll show you how to make it even more brilliant so let's first go through what chat gpt suggested so if you see here it's saying exactly what i asked for conversion rate optimization strategy for sanitary run ads conversion optimization strategy overview traffic and audience this site receives 23000 unique visitors per month baseline conversion overall 5% conversion rate there were 14895 item views in the last 30 days and 1765 add to carts and 268 purchases it's saying a realistic goal to set for sanitary run ads is increase overall conversion from 5 to 7% which is 40% uh, relative lift this aligns with the median 6.6% benchmark and would yield substantial revenue growth automatically checks online what is a median and how much is their opportunity realistic opportunity to grow this and then it will suggest what needs to be done then it's saying that at 23k month visitors 39 aov increasing the conversion rate from this uh, will basically lead to $17,940 um, extra monthly revenue with this we can uh, increase it to $10,455 more and mobile optimization basically uh, we can have four thousand fifty six dollars uh, revenue more so just telling me realistically we can increase this revenue on the site and now it will tell us what needs to be done so there's a lot of information basically i have never seen such a descriptive conversion rate optimization strategy from any i have worked with very experienced people and very high paying consultants so it analyzed the whole website it's saying the clarity on the website is only 6 out of 10 score. For example, highlight unique selling points as practical hands-on training, mentorship from industry. See, it's giving realistic tips that this is what you need to do, that you need to highlight this on the landing pages, which is true. Credibility indicators, add instructor bios, trust batches, and transparent pricing, display testimonials, course rating. I can just directly go take this and this part, this portion, I can send it to the website developers, tell them, do this. Design and user experience, what needs to be done in that, content and messaging. For example, headline effectiveness, headline should be benefit driven, unlock high paying marketing roles. To be honest with you, before this AI and agentic revolution, if I would have seen such a report from a consultant for a competitor or any other uh, client, and he says, I'll do the same for you, give me $10,000, I'll easily do it. I don't know whether you are able to appreciate the value of this. This is one employee for me now. Based on this report, create an action plan. So it's telling me, foundational setup, week one to two, you should focus on audit and fix tracking, deploy user inside tools, instant heat map, session recordings, Hotjar or Microsoft Clarity, baseline analytics, set up dashboards to track key metrics. This is like first two weeks to setting up tools here and there then quick wins from week three to eight messaging and cta's change these things in messaging improve forms and checkout uh, these are the things you should do mobile optimization do this strategic changes check out redesign you should do product page enhancements personalize these are the recommendations i don't want to go through all of this because it will take hours and hours now that we have so much enormous data from our ai agent now let me show you how to basically convert all of this data into sellable products um, copied the whole report here all of this and i went to a tool called gamma I just pasted this and what Gamma created a very good presentation for me. All of this was done in like 20 minutes for multi-million dollar budget clients. We did conversion rate optimization and we used to charge them a lot and it used, never used to be so descriptive. So look at the presentation. I'll go through a few slides. Conversion rate optimization strategy for sanitary run ads, a comprehensive six month program to increase conversion rates, current conversion performance. This is our current performance, conversion funnel analysis, landing page, product view, add to cart, checkout status and purchase. Saying primary optimization goals, estimated revenue impact is monthly revenue gain from conversion rate optimization, just improving the conversion rate from 5% to 7%, we'll get $17,000 extra. High priority optimization opportunities, one, two, three, tuck, 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 tuck. Mobile optimization strategy, this and this. Then A-B testing roadmap, these are the things we have to test to see if it improves our optimization. Personalization opportunities, these are the things we need to do. Expected ROI and conclusion. Based on this action plan, conservative uh, is conversion rate optimization will be 6%. Annual ROI 
we will generate $107,000 extra every year. Optimistic 7%, then we'll make $215,000 extra. That's the power of conversion rate optimization. I have several videos on my channel, actually one, uh, where I discuss conversion rate optimization, but people don't take it serious. Then what I did is I went back and I just copied the, um, the action plan, just the action plan, okay? I created a separate deck and I said, okay, create a deck for me. And uh, again, I used Gamma. Uh, E-commerce conversion optimization plan at 24 roadmap. I didn't just type a single word. It's just all AI, copy paste. Foundation setup, one to two weeks, these things. Quick win, three to eight weeks, these things. So it basically converted the text into a very good slide. And it's it looks good. The slide looks good. Advanced optimization from 17 to 24 weeks. These are the things I need to do. Ongoing measurement, ta 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 ta. Messaging CTA test, check out optimization. Look at the presentation it did. It's the same data. It just arranged it. And it's free as well. Up to 10 cards um, presentation in Gamma, you can create it for free. Expected outcome, 77% conversion rate increase. The only thing I would have done maybe while creating a presentation manually is this would be the first slide to show like what is the plan? What are we expecting? And it just shows expected outcome, 7% conversion rate increase. Then I'll show the action plan. So once you have these presentations, let's say you worked it for a client. Now, the next step is you send it to the, them. Now, additionally, you can do is if you are an expert in that field, for example, we created the CRO project. If you know a bit of website development and how to make changes or you have a team, it's a good idea to tell them that you can help them implement this as well. And then additionally, you will have to create like a pricing structure and a project plan. And now it leads us to the most important part, which is how to sell this to the clients. See, if you're a very experienced digital marketer, you have credentials, you know how to approach clients and sell this. But if you are kind of beginner or intermediate, I would say the best way is once you have settled on one of the configurations, then what you have to do is you have to do it for certain businesses and kind of create case studies. And then you approach the clients and tell them, listen, these are five case studies we have done for these businesses. We can do something similar for you as well to kind of show them proof of work. What was the output? What did you suggest? What was the action plan? What was the expected impact? And if you worked on any of the projects initially, then show them what was the actual impact versus what was planned. Use this agent to do the analysis for them based on whatever information you have about them and then create exactly the same kind of audit report and action plan but don't give everything away you just give them like a top view like these are the kind of expectations you should have these are some of the recommendations we suggest but we are willing to do very detailed one on a paid project you have to tell them that this is the kind of information we already had about you and this is based on that now when you provide us more information then we will obviously do a much much better job if you want to know more about how we can use chat gpt and other ai tools check out our ai marketing course it's brilliant but that's all for this video thank you so much and i will see you in the next one